Hello, my name is Julie Dufresne, and I am an environmental specialist with the Lot Clean Water Alliance. I have been an environmental specialist for 11 years now. So our local businesses, many of them to produce their product, have to use water in the production. And that water then will have aspects of whatever it is that they produce that they will then discharge to the sewer. So for example, restaurants that produce food, there will be fats, oils, and grease that get discharged to the sewer. Those will attach to the side sewer, it will corrode the pipes, and it can cause sewer overflows. Um, corrugated boxes, you wouldn't think water is used, but it is. You have to use water to make the glue, there's water with the ink, there's water with cleaning, there's a lot of uh, fibers that come off the cardboard that go into the sewer. Aluminum cans, again, there's going to be oils and grease from the machinery, you're going to wash the machinery and the product, so you're going to get traces of metal in the water. And the soda in it, that's just a lot of water and some sugar, so it has to be pre-treated, that also is a concern. So because of that, there are federal and state regulations that are requiring businesses that use water in the production of product to pre-treat their wastewater before they send it to the sewer. That's where I come in. As an environmental specialist, it's my job to make sure these businesses are pre-treating their wastewater and following the rules and the regulations. On a typical day, I can usually be found in the office. I have to research all the new businesses coming to town to verify if I have to inspect them and or permit them. I then inspect all of the existing businesses that have to use water in their production. I permit some of them, I inspect them, they have to send reports, I have to monitor the reports, enter all the data, I do my own sampling. I also coordinate with city staff on my inspections so that they know what I am doing. And then I'm out in the field when I do inspections or doing surveys of the businesses that are coming and going. And that is either inside or outside. Sometimes I'm driving in a vehicle, rain or shine. My job is very cool. I get the behind the scenes of the manufacturing businesses that we have in this area. I get to see how aluminum cans are made, how corrugated boxes are made. I get to go into dental offices. I get to see the restaurant kitchens. Any place where water is being used in the production and the business, I get to go in and see the behind the scenes to see what they are doing. Um, I also get to share my experience and my knowledge with other pretreatment professionals around the state and the country in conferences and workshops. So I love Washington State and the Puget Sound area, and I am inspired by being able, with my job, to help protect the environment and Puget Sound by protecting what is going into the wastewater, what could leak out of the wastewater system if there's a problem, and then what we do here to treat it and then reuse it or send it out to the sound and how that all together protects this beautiful area that we live in. All right, so I grew up in Arizona, um, out in the desert, and I've always wanted to be in Washington. Finally, in uh, 2000, I was able to move from Arizona up to Washington in the Puget Sound area. I began my path by going to the Evergreen State College to get a Bachelor's of Science in Marine Mammalogy because I wanted to study orca. I thought they were the most beautiful creature in the world. Still do. But my very first class, she had us go get a glass jar, take it down to the sound, and just take some water and hold it up to the life, and you can see all the microbial life and the larva swimming around in this one jar straight from the surface. And I was hooked. I thought this was the most incredible thing. This is where life starts. I love the wells, but this, this intrigued me and I wanted to learn more. So I changed my major to a marine microbiologist. And in the pursuit of my degree, I did a lot of research about Lot. Because Lot takes the wastewater, they clean it, and then they discharge it to Puget Sound, which is where my little microbes are. And my field was actually diatoms. But I wanted to see what the effect of lot was on the environment and the micro life that's depending on all of this water. So in doing that study, I learned about lot and I was just impressed, totally impressed. The equipment that they're using, the technology, the amount that they're cleaning, how good the life is out there. I knew it right then that this is where I wanted to work, but I had to get some experience. So I got a job in the lab making soda and finally a position opened up in the lab here i applied i got the job which was the best day ever and i started working in the lab i was doing wet chemistry i was working at the microbiology and it was 
it was amazing, but I felt like I could do more. And then pre-treatment had the environmental specialist position opened up and that was my opportunity. So I applied, I got accepted. It's where I've been ever since and I completely love my job and what I'm doing.